One of my favorite types of podcasts to listen to in the winter is cozy podcasts. And one of the first cozy podcasts I ever found was the All Things Cozy podcast. I've already done an episode where I chatted with the hosts Matt and Jillian about their show, but I wanted an excuse to have them back on, so I asked if they could share some of their favorite podcasts, and they agreed. Hi, I'm Andy Smiley, the Friendly Podcast Guide. I'm a mom who uses podcasts to fight the boredom and loneliness of motherhood and to entertain my kids when I need a break. And I want you to be able to use podcasts in these ways too. But it can be overwhelming to try and find a podcast you or your kids will enjoy in the thousands of shows that are out there. That's where I come in. Each week, I talk about different podcasts with topics ranging from parenting to pop culture and everything in between. My episodes are short and they answer your questions about the show so you'll know if it's a good fit for you or your kids or not. Now, let's talk podcasts. During our chat, Matt and Jillian both give two of their favorite cozy-ish podcasts. And before we hear about those podcasts, we're going to take a quick break to talk about my guide to help you create a podcast trailer in less than two hours. Your podcast needs a trailer. It doesn't matter if you haven't launched your podcast yet or if you've had a podcast for 10 years. But I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, I've heard that podcast trailers are helpful, but I don't have time to set aside to make that happen. That's where you're wrong. (laughs) Making a podcast trailer doesn't have to take weeks. You can create a beautiful podcast trailer in less than two hours that will get potential listeners to start listening to your show and keep listening. All you have to do is follow my step-by-step podcast trailer guide. Go through each of the eight steps, and by the end, you will have an awesome podcast trailer. Grab this guide in the link in the show notes. Okay, here are some cozy podcast recommendations from Matt and Jillian, along with some laughs and giggles from all of us. Today, we have Matt and Jillian from the All Things Cozy podcast, and I am so excited to talk to them again. I loved our conversation so much last time that I made up a different type of episode to have them back. That's not exactly true, but it kind of is true. Well, we're so happy to be back. Thanks for having us. So for those listeners that haven't heard your first episode, or maybe it's been a minute, let's have each of you introduce yourselves so that we can get reacquainted. Well, my name is Matt, um, and I am one of the hosts of the All Things Cozy podcast. Um, And as you can imagine, that show is about everything cozy. It really started as a show about cozy mysteries, which are books that um, I love and that I forced Jillian to read, who is my co-host, and you'll meet her in a minute. Um, But then we decided to, you know, really bake in and branch out everything cozy. Um, And that's really kept us afloat for all these years, because even when we ran out of cozy mysteries we wanted to talk about or anything else, we could always go into any other cozy topic. Yeah, there's plenty of cozy things out there, and y'all do a great job covering them all. A lot of hardcore brainstorms. Oh, thank you. We, yeah. we our best. <laughs> because uh, I think I don't, <laughs> we're going on, what, five, six years? Yeah, that we sit down and we have these brainstorms and try and come up with new ideas for cozy. But we always manage to find something. Um, but anyway, uh, my name is Jillian Walters, and I am Matt's co-host. And it was Matt's bright idea to start the podcast. And so I um, – I mean, that, probably, that sounds sarcastic. <laughs> no, it truly was a genius idea. And um, I think he's truly a pioneer of the cozy um, – genre at least in podcasts in my mind we didn't have any other cozy podcasts to really compete against at the time so i give him a lot of credit and i was just along for the ride because i thought it sounded fun and just a great way to spend time with matt i love spending time with him so i will jump at any chance to do that and here we are six years later and it's lovely it's a fabulous podcast did you know matt that you were a cozy pioneer I did not, um, but I will take that. Uh, Yeah, no, I mean, honestly, what is the coziest thing about making the show is getting to spend all this time with Jillian because, you know, you spend time with your friends anyway, but you don't normally get to catalog them in a Mm -hmm. podcast. So (laughs) sure, it, it, it creates kind of like almost like a reality show experiment where it's like, how do we make science experiments cozy? I didn't actually mean to make that kind of, that's actually an episode of the show. I didn't repeat myself there. Um, And we figure that out and we try that together and it's just a lot of we have fun and i think we hope that our listeners have fun with us 
Well, I, as a listener, can tell you that I have fun, especially, uh, was it your season finale last year when you went to a cozy hotel? Yes. Yes. And you were trying to decide on if you should like get into the free- fridge or not. That yeah, we, we had completely fun. different viewpoints yes. on that. <laughs> yes. Yes. You should definitely, listeners, go listen to that episode. <laughs> it was delightful debate. and really fun. So I really like to hear how podcasters first found podcasts. So Matt, where did you first like hear about podcasts? What was your like origin story with podcasts? My first podcast I remember really getting into was um, Script Notes, which was a, and is, it's still around. Uh, it's a podcast about screenwriting and things that are interesting to screenwriters, hosted by mm. the screenwriters, uh, John August and Craig Mazin. And I really liked John August's work. He wrote Big Fish and a lot of the um, Tim Burton movies. And mm. I had followed his writing, and then he had a podcast. And so I kind of followed him into podcasting. And started listening a lot then. Um, and, you know, you kind of, once you're in, you start, you know, people have guests on and then you get to gradually get into more podcasts. But really, I think I got into it mostly because I wanted to it, it, hear the voices of people who didn't have large platforms. They weren't on TV. They You couldn't find them anywhere else, but they had a podcast and you could really listen to them expound on their thoughts. And so that first one for me was definitely script notes, if, if I'm remembering correctly. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, Jillian, what was your first like foray into podcasts? Honestly, the show that we do. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I don't think I really listened to podcasts before that. Um, now I'm really deep into it. I don't know if that was my entryway through all things cozy to maybe say, look, if I'm doing a podcast, maybe I should listen to others. But um, I think they really took off maybe around that time too, the popularity of podcasts or a little bit before, maybe Serial. Serial was before. Yes, it was. Yeah. Okay. Then Serial was my first. I listened to that too. That was a, yeah, that was a big phenomenon. Yes. I remember that. I so listened that, to that. So I lied. Well. Serial. I did listen to that and I was very invested. <laughs> totally. I, Serial was one of my very first podcasts as well. I feel like it kind of took the world by storm a little bit and made a lot of people realize what a podcast was. Okay, Matt, will you tell me your first podcast suggestion or favorite podcast, however you want to say it, to tell my listeners about? Yes. Yeah, so, okay. So, I'm a, I really tried to keep my picks cozy. Um, Love it. Just to, to be in line with our brand, but also um, it's what I enjoy listening to. And I realized thinking about the podcast that I enjoy listening to, that they were all duos like they all they all were podcasts with like two people who had very different energy to them and i think that makes sense in terms of what we ended up making (laughs) so as it was actually almost like a therapeutic um exercise for me to understand like why i do what i do um and so uh my first recommendation is linoleum knife it is a film review podcast hosted by film critics dave white and alonzo duraldi who also happen to be a married couple. And that level of domesticity is what makes this extra cozy. So it's not uncommon that they'll spend 15 or 20 minutes discussing what Dave is making for dinner that night (laughs) um, and debating like what was last night's dinner like and oh, we can't wait to try that. And they do that in such an entertaining and engaging way. You really just feel like you're at the kitchen table with them and they literally record at their kitchen table. Jillian and I know mm-hmm. because we've been lucky enough to be on their show and sit at that kitchen table. And so you really are sitting around with friends talking about movies. And I'm always a little bit wary when I hear that people who are couples are like reviewing films and stuff like that because it sounds like, are they going to have the same opinion? No, mm. they have completely different sensibilities <laughs> and tastes. So there's always an interesting discussion to be had and they come at things from different angles. And so I think whether you are interested in movies or whether you just like hearing people have cozy domestic conversations about like, you know, even that kind of like really familiar and, and lovely couple bickering, um, which again, I'm, I worry that I'm making it sound like a little grating or something. It is absolutely cozy and listenable and lovely. And it's one of my favorite, favorite podcasts. I do not miss an episode of Linoleum Knife. I can vouch for the coziness. Okay. I have never heard of that one. And I love a conversational podcast. Those are kind of my favorite, especially right now with the stage of like motherhood that I'm in with a six, four and two year old. Like sometimes I just need some adult conversation. So I'm definitely adding that one to my list. That sounds lovely. 
Jillian, can you tell me what your first podcast recommendation is? <laughs> I to laugh because the title is just Matt's bringing some lovely cozy <laughs> suggestion and I'm bringing in Watch What Crappens, <laughs> which is a play on Watch What Happens from Bravo. And it's hosted by Ben Meldiker and Ronnie Krum. And they are really good friends. And so I guess it plays on Matt's point of friendship and those two different personalities because um, Ronnie is definitely more of a wisecrack and Ben's kind of reading him in. But the show focuses on everything Bravo, which I love. And there's another podcast that was Bravo really that I was going to plug that's a lot more wholesome and a lot more family friendly. <laughs> so um, that's everything iconic if you're interested. But I'm recommending watch what crap ends. And they I love them because they do these amazing interpretations and voices of the stars. And I love voice work. So if I ever need a laugh, I listen to watch what crap ends. Um their Lisa Vanderpump is truly iconic, unmatched. <laughs> um, just the theatrical way because they recite the line. So basically how it goes is they start from the beginning of the episode. They don't, you know, do line the dialogues you know line by line but they reenact scenes and that's just so hilarious to me so it's good for the soul to laugh and if you're into bravo that's just the perfect combination well and like you said i feel like it is nice to be able to have something that you know you can mm -hmm. laugh to right like have a dependable laugh for when you're having a crappy day or when you're stuck doing laundry or dishes or whatever you can turn it on and make it a more enjoyable experience that is awesome and absolutely lovely yeah thank you for that recommendation okay matt what is your next suggestion recommendation yes yeah, so on the topic of comedy my second recommendation is do you need a ride and hmm. that is a podcast it's it's also a podcast that's been around for quite a while um, and it's still hanging in there. And I really do same thing with linoleum, linoleum knife. And I think our show at this point, but like, I love those long standing shows. You really get to build a relationship and you can really dig through the archives. Um, and so do you need a ride is comedians, Karen Kilgariff and Chris Fairbanks recording themselves, picking up other comedians from the airport or other gigs around Los Angeles and the incredible conversations they have in the car together you know, the Holy pandemic cow, happened and then amazing. they went in the studio for a little while, but they're back in the car. They're going through the car wash. They're picking up drive through. <laughs> and it's that amazing feeling of when you are listening to this, because I, mo I mostly listen to podcasts in the car. And so when I'm listening to this podcast, I feel like I have a car full of friends. And that sounds a little pathetic, no. but <laughs> yeah, it doesn't you know, when you're sitting in traffic, it's, it's, it's such a nice feeling to have. And it, it, the fact that they're in a car really does add this like other real dimension of them. Like mm. they're reacting to, to things that they're seeing. And if you've ever driven in Los Angeles, you know, there's a lot to take in mm. on these streets. <laughs> and so they see a lot of stuff They comment on it. Um, it's a really energized show, and but also very cozy. And again, it really rests on the incredible friendship that Karen and Chris have. Um, and, and you may know Karen. She's one of the hosts of My Favorite Murder. Um, and uh, she used to be uh, Ellen DeGeneres' head writer. And then Chris Fairbanks um, is a comedian who's appeared on lots of things and written for different TV shows. And um, they're both super talented. And so they're they're picking up, you know, A-listers like Pat and Oswalt. And so they have amazing guests, too, that they're other comedy buddies. So if you're looking for a laugh in the car with friends, check out Do You Need a Ride? That sounds absolutely delightful. Now we can top that. I know. Holy cow. And I can't believe I haven't heard of it. I'm so excited to dive into those archives. That yeah, sounds it's, it's like so much fun. It, you know, it goes to, there are so many podcasts that there's a lot of really incredible stuff that just kind of, I mean, I think people know about that show and it has a, a solid fan base, but I feel like it should be bigger than it is um, just because of how great, how consistently high quality that show is. Um, but, you know, hopefully, you know, check it out and listen to it. It's, it's really funny. Totally. Well, truly, that is one of the reasons I started my podcast was because there are so many great shows out there, but people just don't know about them because it's hard to find podcasts. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's, yeah, it's easier to find a video on TikTok than it is to find a podcast that you're going to like. So that my job is to try and help 
people find podcasts. And yes. we thank you for that work. <laughs> yes. I'm, yes, that's the goal. Okay, Jillian, your next podcast recommendation. recommendation. Uh, so switching gears from comedy, my next pick is The Vanish, and it's hosted uh, by Marissa Jones. And Marissa is an excellent investigative reporter and started all on her own. And the show focuses on missing persons cases, but it is you're not your typical um you know disappeared or uh, i'm familiar familiar with that show on id discovery it's um it's mostly about folks who aren't really the people who you would put a spotlight on or see a spotlight on um so whether they have m- mental health issues or um you know they struggled with um drug abuse whatever it might be or it's just a case that just for whatever reason hasn't got a lot of notoriety and i really like how deep she goes and she talks to all of the family members, the friends, the coworkers. She dives in so deep and she thinks of every angle of possibility. And that's why I'm drawn to missing um, people cases because um, you just never really know where it could, could go. And she does updates when it's resolved and she talks to the family members if they're found or whether that's a good outcome or, you know, a unfortunate tragic one. And she treats each family and each missing person with such care and reverence that I don't really see a lot in these true crime podcasts or the genre. So Mm -hmm. when I tell Mm -hmm. people I'm really invested in true crime, you know, you you get kind of, I think, a little bit judged, especially in this day and age with the popularity of it and how it's kind of been um, commercialized to um, an unbelievable degree. But Marissa really sees these folks for who they are and to give them a voice where they otherwise would not have one. And just a level of investigative work I'm truly in awe of. And that's what everyone in the reviews says. It's just unanimous. And she's really shaking things up too and got, um, you know, police involved where they didn't plan to and really puts the pressure on. So I I think she's an amazing reporter and I really recommend it if um, you're into that kind of disappearance stuff. it's like I said, just just never know where these cases are going to to go. And sometimes it surprises you. Definitely. Well, and like you said, I, true crime a lot of times doesn't really do a very good job of humanizing the person that they're talking about. And it sounds like this podcast does a really good job of that. And yeah, thank you for giving that suggestion. Because like you said, true crime is very popular, but it isn't always done in the most careful Mm -hmm. way maybe is like a nice way to put that (laughs) and so yeah truly true crime is not exactly my forte but i get nightmares really easily so but i do know a lot of people that like true crime including my Mm -hmm. partner so he listens to the true crime and i stick to cozy podcasts (laughs) yes yes i i mean there's definitely things some episodes are well they're not i wouldn't describe them obviously as cozy but um some are some are heartening in the sense where a lot of families want to just bring life to that person that they don't you know that is that is missing and to hear them tell funny anecdotes and just really yeah get to know a person um i find that aspect of a cozy so there are some elements totally that's yeah that's that's a wonderful version of true crime i am really glad that podcast exists (laughs) Yeah, that sounds very responsible and caring yes. and uh, human yes, focused. Yes, hundred percent. Fabulous! Thank you so much for being on the show today. Before, actually, before I let you go, will each of you tell me your two podcasts that you recommended so that um, I can make sure that my listeners can remember the ones that you said that they liked? Oh, yes, <laughs> yes. So for me, it is Linoleum Knife, a film review podcast, and Do You Need a Ride? which was the one about comedians driving around in their car. Yes. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for both of those. Okay, Jillian. And mine are Watch What Crappens by Ben Mendelker and Ronnie Krim and The Vanish by Marissa Jones. Fabulous. Thank you so much for being on the show so that I can I can learn about new podcasts and all of my listeners can too. So thank you, thank oh, you, thank, thank you. you. Thank you for having us. It's always such a pleasure to yeah. see you and talk with you. And if listeners do check out these podcasts, let us know. We'd love to hear it. Totally. Yeah. Let me know and I'll pass it on. Or you can just go straight to them. They are on Instagram. Yes, we are on Instagram at All Things Cozy Podcast and Facebook at All Things Cozy Podcast. And we have a Facebook group, which it's the coziest 
community you've ever seen on Facebook. <laughs> Definitely. Well, you two are both fabulous humans, so it makes sense that you made a fabulous community. <laughs> well, yeah, anytime you want to have us on. Yes, we'll we'll, we'll always be there. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe maybe we'll make it like a yearly thing and you can just tell me new favorite oh, podcasts yeah. or something. Yeah, I'm down for that, for sure. That sounds delightful. And <laughs> there's so many podcasts out there, right? We can always come right. up with more favorites. <laughs> Okay, well, thank you so much. And I can't wait for my listeners to find you if they haven't found you yet and to listen to these other shows too. Thank Amazing. you, Andy. Thank you, Andy. I absolutely adore talking with these two. They are so much fun. Also, I'm so excited to add those podcasts to my cozy podcast list as we are in the beginning of the coziest time of the year. Also, if you've been putting off making a podcast trailer, but you know it's time, grab my step-by-step podcast trailer guide. Talk to you soon. Wait, so you used to record at Matt's house? Yeah, we used to do it in person. And um, the we would have our guests come to my apartment. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love that so yeah. much. <laughs> Many oh, a cozy mystery, cozy mystery author has sat in my living room. Hollowed ground. <laughs> oh, I'm so jealous. <laughs>